Hi hey guys, Simmons here. Back again with another update. This is probably my final update of this year on the wheel vehicles in the military. So we've got all our lights in our helmet part itself. I'm still working on the other section of it to show you that just in a second. Um, we're going to get this in the black base coat. I've uh, done the black base coat on the cab. Now the cab is included in place. I still put my glass work in, my seats and a couple of other bits and bobs. But all the lights are in it so far. Minus two spot lamps which will go over here. I'll put them in later on. We'll turn it on here. See a bit better in the dark. Um, we've got our orange marker lights in and our back tail lights. Um, just that voltage a bit. Um, we've got our red beacon in the front there. You see we haven't got our roof glued on just, just yet. We've got our headlamps in as you can see. Um, turn this light on yet. Spare tire has to be glued in place, which sits there as we part that needs glued on just to hold the wheel up onto the top of the chassis sort of thing, bodywork. So I'm not going to glue that on just yet, but that's where it sits. Take it off for a second. Um, so we've got all our orange marker lights in, as you can see. One light has went on me. I don't know what the hell's case has happened, so I wanted to go and replace it. You can maybe just make a light there. It's very dull um, on this side. It's starting to flicker in the night. You'll probably see it a bit better in the dark. It's not as bright as the rest of it. There's back on again. So I think it's a faulty SMD, so I'm going to replace that before going any further. But as I say, the range almost done on it. I'm just going to get it, leave it until after Christmas. And then get it into primer before we hit it with a top coat. So, as I say, we left this off at the time being to get all our seats and so forth in, steering wheel, and a couple of bits and bobs and our glass work. And we'll be able to get this all glued in place. So, that is the helmet part of it. The other part, I'll just disconnect it here, turn it off. The other part is the rocket launcher sort of thing, missile launcher. Where would you want to call it? Which is this big barrel. Now I'm still working on the other canister. As I said in our previous videos. Um, I haven't got around to getting that all wired up just yet. We've got one of our communication boxes. Um, where would you want to call this thing here? All wired up. Um, got our lights in that as well. Um, that does fly. So I did show this before. Uh, there's a couple of blinkers in here. There's a lid going on the top before the two doors goes on. And then there's another one on the opposite side it goes on. So we'll still work on that as well. Um, marker lights, tail lights and all are all built and all just have them, or sorry, wired and all, just have them put them onto the back section here. So you've got your, obviously your back tail lights and so forth. Um, all your side markers, there's two on this side. Um, back leg and then there's two on this leg, leg as well same for the opposite side and then you have other orange marker lights that was along the side of the framework itself so we'll get that all done as I say after Christmas and then we'll get it all in the paint before we move on to the other part of the build which is the, the Hummer <clears throat> and then there's a couple of figures so we should have it finished well before it's uh, finished it did show this here before as I said this there's a lot of work involved in this. Um, placed all the original plastic parts with the steel paper clips so as it can move up and down, swing around, and so forth. Um, it does. It's a bit of a tight fit on the frame, which, which is a good thing. Uh, it's because you don't want it to fall in love when you're displaying it, sort of thing. So you can have it in the firing sequence or in the, the rest mode. So it's nice and neat. There's two we, uh, Part star correspond with two markers, two score holes here. It's on the, the canisters themselves, which fits, sits down nice and neat. There you go. So, I said there before in the previous videos, the last canister I'm going to be building, I'll have it in the firing sequence mode, sort of thing. Well, let me say it's come out of it with the, the smoke blast, sort of thing, with um, SMDs in it and a bit of air brushing just to imitate uh, the blast. So, That'll be done after Christmas. So here you go guys. Um, that's the helmet. Almost ready for paint. This part anyhow. 
There's another wee thing I want to show here. I'll just put this on pause a second. This is all for Revel 16 scale, um, 80, 87 is it? 87 Barber GTA. Um, those are the rims on it. Now, there's no chrome list kit now. I've done a wee box review on this a lot of weeks ago. Um, let's say, uh, no chrome at all. The wheels here themselves are solid as you can see. So what I done is took one off. Same principle as what Pete had done the other day in his uh, grill challenge, Halloween and out. So I done the same with the rims here. You can see you actually yeah. see right through them now. So you can get a bit better. You can see right through it. So they'll they'll uh, show up a lot better once you get them painted. So what I did was just took it off a sprue, got myself a bit of sandpaper. And done that back and forth until it broke through the the plastic itself really thin and just poked it out with an old needle from an airbrush so it's a lot better so we'll go back on the ad again after christmas so we'll look up our builds on hold but anyway guys not for Elmo for me so here you go just update on the wheeled vehicles in the military and the fireboard so I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll speak to you all in 2024. Bye.